Another one. Another one. Another one. I'm finally glad that DJ Khaled finally got a child. Because in all of his album covers, he was looking sad. Like this one. Or even this one right here. Yo, what up? It's your boy Black with Black TV, where we give you reviews and hip hop news. And today I'm doing a review on DJ Khaled's brand new album, Father of the Side. Don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV for more reviews and more reactions. Hit a like and in the comment section below, tell me what is your best or favorite DJ Khaled collab of all time. Like, I'm pretty sure it's gonna have Lil Wayne or Chris Brown in it because he's there, they are all in his albums. But in the comment section below, let me know what you think of DJ Khaled's Father of a Side and tell me what is your best uh, DJ Khaled collab. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I like to say that I'm not a big DJ Khaled fan because in his pre previous albums like they was really a disappointment like in grateful i think grateful is his most disappointing album he has ever put out because it just seems like all the collabs was messy or whatever but i did a review on it go on my channel and, and, and check out that review but this one right here is exactly what i expected it's like a whole bunch of artists put together and everybody just didn't put 100% effort in, into their work. But with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the cover. The cover, the cover is actually pretty dope. It got, it got his son on the side. They both clean, they both fresh. DJ Khaled got the J's. Like I said before, I'm just glad he's not looking sad in, in this album cover because I mean, your son brought you joy. You should have had a son a long time, DJ Khaled. But on my likes of Father of a Side, like the production is strong point. I mean, I will give DJ Khaled the fact that he has a nice ear in the industry. And like with track two, Wish Wish with Cardi B and 21 Savage and produced by Tay Keith, that track was on point as far as production wise. And once again, Cardi B killed it. She killed it with her verse. Saying stuff like, put a ribbon on a box Cause this pussy gifted ain't got no free time. All my shit is expensive. Bars. But on the other hand, I can't really say too much about 21 Savage. I mean, 21 Savage, you, you're not looking at 21 Savage as far as uh, uh, to kill it lyrically. You more of looking at 21 Savage as a guy that's bringing energy to the song. But I'm, it really did something to me when he said he's feeling like the king of the south what but like i said this album has better collaborations than grateful and like with 21 and cardi b like that i know they did stuff previously but i will say that this might be their best collab that both of them did together and as far as good collabs, I really wasn't expecting Jeezy and Rick Ross to uh, be on this album on the same track. Like on track 10, Big Boy Talk. Like, you know, in their past, they both beefed and everything. I think they did a song together in the past, but, you know, this song was pretty decent as well. And with track 8, Won't Take My Soul, featuring Nas and CeeLo Green, this was a nice pairing. Like, both of them fit pretty well together on the song. I think personally Nas had the best verses on this album. Like on this song right here, he's basically just teaching the game, talking about he had teaching the game to his sons about the business and the industry. Saying stuff like, we some fathers to our boys, birth a boy. You rich for life to see the joy. I live to see my kids doing business. Tell them everything's business. Basically, everything's a business, so make it your business to get it. Bars. And on the second verse, he had a lot of shout outs 
to a lot of music moguls out there because when Nas came out, he really didn't have that Dame Dash or or uh, Jay Prince to back him up. So on the second verse, he really just had a lot of shout outs and explained how he felt about them. Saying a bar like, to all my dogs, see Owen, P and Coach K and Top Dog to see we growing. I think that was that was a big deal for Nas to even just shout out moguls like that. But, you know, I wonder what would have Nas been like if he had a Dame Dash or, or a J Prince behind him. Hmm. But my favorite track on Father of Side is track seven, Higher, featuring Nipsey Hussle and John Legend. Y'all already knew that by now. Y'all probably already knew that. I'm going to give a big shout out to DJ Khaled for just having a nice gesture of making this his his single because, you know, off the passing of Nipsey Hussle and everything like that. And I have big thoughts about his about the passing of Nipsey Hussle. I know I've been gone for a minute, but that's a whole nother video. This is a whole nother video on Nipsey Hussle. But this is, this might be the best collab on the album. I, I mean, like... I love John Legend. I love the production on it. I like John Legend, uh, of course, and Nipsey Hussle and his bars he spit on it. Basically, on this song, Nipsey Hussle just telling the story of how he came up with his family in the street life, saying, dance with the devil and test all faith. I was thinking chess moves, but it was God grace. I mean, can't go any harder than that, especially after his passing of how he passed away. But going into my dislikes, like, this album isn't really good, but it isn't terrible neither. Like I said before, all the artists that eventually get on a DJ Khaled album, it seems like they don't put their 100% effort in the album, which makes the album more, you know, watered down. Like, for example, track six with Celebrate featuring Travis Scott and Post Malone. You would think reading this on paper that this song is going to be an instant hit uh-uh i don't think travis scott really sounds like travis scott on this album and i hate to say it i hate to say it post malone outshined travis scott on this album and you know i'm just i just recently became a travis scott fan after picking travis scott album for best of one of the best albums of 2018 personally and track 11 freaking you featuring Lil Wayne and Gunna like before reading it on paper you would think that this song will be a hit uh -uh. I think this song has the most laziest production on the album basically sampling Casey and Jojo and they're doing they doing a course you might as well you might as well should have credit them the feature, Casey and JoJo. Lil Wayne delivered, like, delivered terribly, and Gunna delivered terribly. Both of these two artists should have been top tier on the song, and both of them are kind of similar, but they just didn't hit, hit, hit it off. And my most disappointment of this album is the intro, track one, Holy Mountain. I know DJ Khaled is a big fan of, like, Jamaican music and all of that but the production was terrible on this it had too many switch ups and it's too, too much going on at one time i instantly skipped it but i had to listen to it because i'm doing a review and it it just it just wasn't hitting for me but my most disappointing song of dj Khaled's father of a side it, it it really hurt me it really hurt me track three just us Featuring SZA. DJ Khaled, why did you sample Sorry Miss Jackson by Outkast on here? Like, I was really expecting this to have a high level of good quality. But SZA, I mean, I'm, I'm going to say SZA didn't really do a terrible job. But I was just expecting more out of this. If you're going to sample a classic hit like that, you're going to have to come and bring it. That's just like back when I was saying all the artists wasn't bringing an A game and SZA just really wasn't bringing her A game. Like the chorus really wasn't catchy. It, was, it really wasn't uh, catch, 
Like, it, it really just didn't catch my ear. But with that being said, I'm going to rate DJ Khaled and Father of a Side a 5 out of 10. Because, you know, it's not a terrible album, but it's not good neither. And you can basically hear, like, everybody watered down on this album. And, you know, it really, it's not really no hits on the, on the album. I mean, he has top off on this album with Jay-Z and Future and Beyonce. But... Even that song was pretty eh. So, what do you think of DJ Khaled's Father of a Side? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think my rating is too high, too low? Put it in the comment section below and let me know what you think. And I know I've been gone for a long time. I know, I know, I upgraded, I got a new computer or whatever. And I'm back. I'm back. I'm in street clothes. I'm going to have my black TV outfit on soon as possible. But like I said before, don't forget to hit subscribe. And until next time, I holla next time on Black TV.